How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. There are a lot of cryptos exploding right now, some that are hitting all-time highs. I want to talk about them, talk about what's happening, uh, talk about Bitcoin as well, some interesting things that's happening there, some interesting people that are buying huge amounts of Bitcoin right now. If you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn on that bell notification underneath the video so you can see future videos just like this one. I have two great videos I think you're going to love that are coming out here very soon. So hit subscribe while you're down there too. There are a couple links in case you want to check out Margex, you want to trade on leverage. You can trade Bitcoin, you can trade Ethereum, XRP, Solana, Pepe, uh, all those on leverage. And you can use all different types of collateral. So I would use this if you are a trader. Of course, make sure you understand what leverage trading is and that you're an experienced trader before doing it. But there is a link to that underneath the video, along with a link to Treasure with my link. They're 15% off. Now, they are going to have a big deal next week, I believe, for Black Friday. So if you want to wait, I totally understand. But if not, you can buy right now and get 15% off. Um, I think the deal next week is probably going to be even better than that. Uh, and I want to talk about TVK later in the video too, which is doing a big rebrand. Uh, it's one that a lot of people have looked at. Like I've seen a lot of people talk about TVK uh, over the last year, uh, and they're doing something big here today too. So let's start with the chart. So let's take a look at where well, not the charts, but the top charts, the top 100. Bitcoin is down a little bit today. Uh, you can see in the last 24 hours, it says it's up because yesterday it fell down throughout the day, but it's down a little bit from last night. We are up, pushing up against 38,000, showing a lot of strength. A lot of cryptos were up significantly last night as well. There's still some that are blowing the doors off of uh, prior prices, but I want to remind you, with Bitcoin moving back up, there are going to be a bunch of people jumping on the bandwagon, talking about how bullish crypto is. Just keep in mind, you want to be with the people or paying attention to the people that have stuck around throughout the bear market. I mean, like Chamath Palihapitiya, I watch his podcast, a lot of people do, the All In podcast, really pop popular. He was saying just seven months ago that crypto is dead. And these types of people are the ones that they sell in the bear market, they buy, or at least they talk about crypto a lot, how bullish it is during the bull market, and they'll lie straight to your face. So uh, just continue to watch channels like this, hopefully that have your best, um, have your best interest in mind. Like I'm talking about buying throughout the bear market, selling during the bull market, which is not super popular, but some people will just not do that. They'll lie straight to your face. So hit subscribe again. Now, we just got news, BlackRock files S1 application for spot Ethereum ETF. Now, they had already uh, applied for something in Delaware. I forgot exactly how it goes, but basically we knew that this was going to happen most likely, but it is nice to see that it is official now. Um, of course, it needs to get approved. There's a long there's a long time before we probably will get this approved. Uh, a lot of things have to happen. We have to probably get the spot Bitcoin ETF as well, but I think this is positive. I think it's positive for crypto, positive for Ethereum, and would take more more Ethereum off of exchanges. Now, let's talk about some cryptos that are hitting all-time highs today. Well, Caspa is doing just that again. It seems like day after day, it's hitting all-time highs. I see a lot of people saying on Twitter, like, do you have enough Caspa? And I feel like with a lot of cryptocurrencies, and you'll see this in the next bull run, if this is your first bull run, you'll never feel like you have enough. Even if you bought the entire time throughout the bear market, you'll find that you still wish you had bought more. You could have you could have sold something. You could have taken a loan. You could have sold off some other asset. Just keep in mind, you did the best you could. Uh, when we hit the bull market, no one's going to understand how bullish the market actually will get. Some cryptos will 50x, some will 100x, and you could have bought more. Just keep that in mind. But you just have to appreciate how well it's doing and keep your sanity. Now, Casper's up 200% in the last one month. It's hitting all-time highs day after day after day. I do hold a position in Casper. Of course, like most people, I don't think it's enough. Uh, but I don't really see too much news on Casper, like why it's actually moving up. Let me know in the comment section if you know. But Avalanche is also moving up 70% in the last seven days. It's a much larger market cap, 8.22 billion. Now, I don't hold Avalanche, but it is moving up a lot. And there is some news on that. Onyx by JP Morgan and Apollo Global have announced a collaboration under Project Guardian, leveraging Layer Zero Labs to connect Onyx with a permissioned Avalanche Evergreen subnet. 
which facilitated subscriptions and redemptions for funds offered by Wisdom Tree Prime. So there are a couple large companies that are building and using Avalanche, which is always beneficial to the chain. Obviously, if they get more, if they get more volume, they get paid more in fees, they get more people that need to buy Avalanche, and that's always positive. So they're making some big moves, and this is a big market cap, as I said, fully diluted over 16.5 billion right now. So I'm paying attention to this, but this is not a crypto that I've held in a very long time and not one that I particularly think I'll add a position to just because I do think there are some better options. But still, you can't you can't uh, knock that kind of success over last week going up 70%. So congratulations to everyone that holds Avalanche. Now, we also are seeing some pretty big purchases of not just cryptocurrency recently. And I have to show you a new wallet that just bought Bitcoin, like a huge amount of Bitcoin. And I want to show some other stuff here in a second too, but South Korea National Pension Service purchased about $20 million worth of Coinbase shares. And you better believe that if some of these countries, some of these pension programs were able to buy cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, they would buy that instead of a lot of these proxies. So once regulation is better, or once an ETF, spot ETF is approved, you're going to see purchases like this all the time. Like, just some pension service in some country buying 10, 20, 30 billion worth of Bitcoin in a day. It's going to be nuts. Um, so we have to wait on that a little bit. But I do want to cover one more crypto and then cover some other Bitcoin stuff. Okay, so before we go any further, I've been talking about cryptos, gaming crypto specifically that I think could do well in the, in the next bull run. And there's one that's making massive moves recently, Virtua, also um, the, the ticker's TVK. It's up 146% in the last one month. It's up six. It's up to $60 million. So still relatively small in the grand scope of things and the grand scheme of things. But they have just announced that they're partnering with Mexi for the TVK listing. So this is interesting because there's a lot going on with Virtua. They are very close, closely related uh, to this company right here, Vanar, Vanner Chain. Vanner Chain is like the L1, uh, but Virtua is very tightly connected with them. There's actually a token swap from TVK to Vanry going on here soon too. Virtual evolves into Vanner, leading the charge in ultra low cost transactions and carbon neutral blockchain for the entertainment industry. There are more details on their Twitter page, but basically they are going into a new rebranding. They are building some stuff that I can't even talk about right now. I am uh, partnered with them on the channel here, but they're building a lot of stuff on here. Um, they say EVM layer one built for Fortune 500 companies, global validators with $1 trillion market caps, zero cost, instant transaction, new cutting edge L1 business model, multiple IP with billions of fans at launch core apps at day one. Their marketing is really good. Uh, it seems like they have a really good team as well. And this is a company that's been around for a while. So TVK, if we actually look around, look here, uh, it's been on coin market cap since 2021. So they've been building throughout this bear market here. And they are actually really popular. So, so their metaverse Twitter page has 126,000 followers, including Polygon, BitGet Wallet, uh, a lot of people that I know. And I know there, there are some big investors that hold them or hold TVK like Ash Crypto. Part of that I think is because they are like one of the smallest L1s that will be on Binance. Uh, so I would pay attention to this in the next bull run. As I said, I am a partner with them. Uh, I'll leave links to them underneath the video so you can check them out a little bit more. Now onto Bitcoin. There's a wallet that just bought 13,000 Bitcoin just a few days ago. Now, it's hard to tell whether they bought it, I suppose, versus transferred it into this account, but or into this wallet. But you can see on November 14, 2023, they bought 13,000 Bitcoin. And now they're down a little bit because they transferred it in. Um, actually, they're up a little bit. So you can see they transferred in when Bitcoin was at 35,968. Now they have uh, had a little bit of an inflow, like 0 0.004 Bitcoin for some reason, $145 uh, that fl that also went in there. And at the time, they were actually down a little bit on Bitcoin, about $8 million. Now they're up about $10 million. So 
It's amazing. You can make a significant amount of money if you have a significant amount of money. Funny how that works. But that's a significant buy right off the bat. And this is one of the newest wallets that's in the top 100. So I'll continue to watch this. I'll continue to update you if there's any more news on this wallet. Now, Dylan LeClaire posted this video. It's really interesting. Um, it's from Tom it's from Tom Bayou or Bayou and Matt and uh, Michael Saylor basically talking about should you go all in on Bitcoin and what's that actually mean let me play this for you but when you go all in on something I would say that does take conviction now your conviction how, might how be many chairs are you questions. sitting on right now one are you all in on the chair I am all in on the chair like, like the, the point really is you put on one pair of glasses, you've got one pair of, of AirPods right now, you're looking at me through one screen, you're using one microphone. That's a one microphone, like you trust it? Is that conviction? Seems kind of scary. Why don't you diversify? Why don't you use 10 microphones? The point really is things in your life, do you drive in 10 cars at the same time or one car at one time? Do you drive down one street? Aren't you afraid that you're driving down one street? Do you take a different way? You know? I, so my point really is, if you're an engine, you get a one airplane, are you convicted? You put your entire family in the one airplane, aren't you afraid? Ultimately, if you're a rational individual, do you use, when you use knives, do you have copper knives, wooden knives, steel knives, aluminum knives, rubber band knives, diamond knives, because you're afraid to commit to the right knife? It's a, it's a tool. So, of course, Michael Saylor does usually get off on a bit of a tangent, but you get what he's saying there. A lot of people want to diversify in assets, in investments, but every part of your life, Besides that, pretty much, you're not diversified. Of course, you can get another car, you can get another house, but you can't get all your money back if it goes in the wrong investment. But for him, it's not really an option, right? Just like there's only one option for cars, right? You can only drive one car at a time. That is, you can only put your assets in one truly winning, or all your net worth into one truly winning asset in his mind. And that's Bitcoin. That's a superior asset. Instead of keeping it in currency, US dollars, uh, he keeps it in currency, Bitcoin. So in his mind, uh, I think this makes a lot of sense. I think it does make sense for everyone watching. And it is an interesting way of thinking about it. that's why I love listening to him, even though he can go on for a while, just because he always has something new, some new way of thinking about Bitcoin, which I think is kind of fascinating. This is a little bit moving away from cryptocurrency. Moving on to Tesla. I just saw this clip. It's really fascinating. Joe Rogan talking with The Rock. Now, I don't care if you like Joe Rogan or not, but uh, it's just fascinating to see this clip because, and I won't play this one for you. The Rock has no idea what the Cybertruck is. He asked Joe Rogan, what do you drive? And Joe Rogan is basically talking about his Tesla, his model Plaid, and uh he asked The Rock, and The Rock only drives pickup trucks. The Rock asks, is there some kind of SUV or pickup truck? And Joe Rogan says, yeah, there's a Cybertruck. And then he goes through, like, shooting the arrow at it, shooting uh, Elon shooting guns at it, how heavy it is, how fast it is. This is so much publicity. Anyone that likes The Rock or Joe Rogan is going to see this. They're going to see the Cybertruck. But there are people that are really famous people, very um, popular people, very smart people. They have no idea what the Cybertruck is still. Like they have a lot of access and they still have no idea what it is. So it will be interesting once Cybertruck hits roads and there are tens of thousands of them out there. So many people are going to flood to look at what this actually is. They're going to go to Tesla's website. They're going to see not just the Cybertruck, but they're going to see that this is probably kind of expensive. Maybe they can't afford it, but they're still going to want to look at it. And then they'll see the Model 3 at $33,000 after incentives. And they're going to buy a Tesla. So this is going to be an awesome uh, way of getting people just to go to their website. And it's amazing that some people still don't know about it. I guess if you're outside of finance and you're outside of Twitter, you wouldn't see it as much. But still, it's just fascinating to see so many people have no idea what it is. And we can see Tesla also has done extremely well. Like I bought some shares a week ago, maybe about a week ago, I think. Um, and 
It's up 15% in the last week. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know if you think it should be up more or less, or let me know um, whether you are someone that's bought Tesla recently. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Check out TVK underneath the video. You can also check out the links to Marjex in case you want to trade. And also you can check out the link to Treasure. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.